Hey guys, it is me, Hepisarik, and welcome back to Last Center Survival. So, as you already know, we've gotten the settlement, aka the second base, and today we are gonna be working on this base. We are gonna be upgrading it. We'll try to build some other buildings there. And for those who didn't know, you can get some of those special items required to upgrade your base in this abandoned factory, because inside of the abandoned factory, we can get this antenna, and that's what we're gonna be doing today, because check this out, the abandoned factory is reset, and you can get some extra new items inside of the motel. For example, check this out, there are these screws, and we are also going to be clearing the motel because now the motel has some sort of a special basement and yeah there are lots of things for us to do and then probably just as always we're going to do a couple of raids so welcome welcome to all those that have just joined the stream and if you're watching this live stream after it's over then head to the pinned comments down below there are going to be timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a little bit quicker like let's say clearing that abandoned factory doing some raids doing some crate openings etc etc say guys thanks for being here Hopefully you're having an amazing uh, Sunday. I'm 100% certain that, that it's Sunday. I don't even have to check it. Boom, it is Sunday. I still checked it. <laughs> but I knew, guys, that it is Sunday. All right, let's drop the... Whatever the thing is called, the gasoline canister, right? It should fit somewhere in this chest. I kind of don't want to delete anything. Because uh, probably all of those items are going to be required sooner or later. Especially now when we've gotten that settlement. So we don't know which items will be required later on. Even though we've already... Uh, built almost everything inside of that settlement. The only thing that's lacking for us are those new special items. And for those who do not know, uh, probably, again, that's just my speculation. Probably as soon as we build the headquarters, we'll be able to go and clear the sewers or maybe the highway is going to unlock for us. And then we'll be able to get some other resources and some other items such as those spark plugs for the minivan or the asbestos for the garage. Uh, that we could build in that settlement. All right, now let's take these items and maybe let's try to clear that place with just katanas, right? Let's see how it's going to be like to clear that place with just melee weapons. So let's take a couple of katanas and uh, maybe let's take a gun or two, right? Let's go, let's take a few weapons and call me crazy. I'm kind of getting used to these, uh, these mods now, how they look like in this game because as I said before, they were kind of closer together. I still probably prefer the old mod thing, how they looked, but I don't mind here. Say, so, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Uh, two out of five antennas done. Going for a third today. Yes. Yes, indeed. Maybe some of you already have third or maybe even fourth antenna. But hey, we're going, guys, for another antenna today. So let's drop this block here. Let's get maybe some food, some healing items, and let's roll. Are the raft series over or not? Of course they're not over. Tomorrow there's going to be a new raft uh, video. There will be probably two or three more videos. I don't remember which one was out. Two or three, probably three. Two or three more videos and then we will be done with raft. But yeah, also guys, I've already started the new series on the channel. I mean, it's still, the, the video is not done yet. But uh, yeah, I recently recorded a Miss Survival video, which is kind of cool as the we've gotten some new updates there. Now the 0 0.5 whatever update it has been released kind of fully. It's no longer a beta update. And uh, there are lots of new things that were added to the game. The game looks gorgeous. There are probably more zombies. And I'm liking it, guys. So yeah, after we are done with Raft, we are starting Miss Survival series. So there's that. All right, let's drop it here. We've just taken a shower because for some reason my character decided to stink. Alright, let's get this. Do we have enough armor? Well, this armor might break and again, if we need more armor, I'll have it in the inbox. So we'll take that armor from there. Alright, let's go. I bet 20 bucks if they lower the amount of items you need when the rest of the Act 2 chapter releases, says Isaac. Maybe, but at the same time, it's not really even that expensive. I mean, the settlement isn't super expensive. Not everything is expensive there. Some things maybe are half expensive-ish, but I don't think all of them are expensive. Antennas are guaranteed, says Deadpool. Well, I don't really know if antennas are guaranteed, but... We're gonna check that out. All I know that probably screws are not guaranteed because a lot of you have cleared the motel and you told me that, hey, Sayak, I didn't get any screws, so I don't know if we can get screws this time or not. So we'll check that out. Have you played Project Zomboid, says John Cool Pro? Yes, I've made probably a live stream and a video on Project Zomboid. It's like, what is the difference between, between mist and fog? It's probably the same thing. And John Adnan, thanks for the super chat, John. Uh, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. 
welcome, welcome. You're just in time for the for the for the abandoned factory clearing. All right, let's get these melee weapons. And apparently we need whatever those things are called transistors, right? So let's try to get, go to the inbox. Let's go to spare parts and let's get those transistors. So I didn't really know that you have to bring them from the base. I would have brought that stuff. Whatever, let's add this. We've activated something. Can we go through the other side? Wait, there's that turkey. There we go, there's the hole. Maybe we can... Well, couldn't deal with this guy. Can we wall trick him somehow, some way? Probably it's not gonna work here. Maybe we can barrel trick that guy. Nah, barrel tricking isn't really gonna work out. Alright, the floater bloater is dead. Wait, there's another chest here. It wasn't there last time, was it? Do these chests spawn randomly? Probably. Maybe. Maybe these chests spawn randomly. I mean, so far we've gotten nothing inside of the chest, so it doesn't really even matter. But hey, there's that. Also, we can use this thing. So hey, let's fix it. Let's get here an extra crate. Maybe here we can get an antenna, but I've never gotten an antenna here. This is the second time when I loot this forklift and I've still gotten zero antennas. So maybe you can never get an antenna. Has anybody gotten an antenna here? Hmm. Oops. Uh, kind of couldn't sneak behind that floater bloater. I checked the chat and boom. <laughs> the floater bloater is already attacking us. Should have went a bit more through the top. All right, let's deal with the toxic spitter. Yes, I did, says Fountain Lion. So, a lot of you are saying no. Like, all of you are saying no besides one guy. So, I don't really know if I believe that. We get antennas in basement only. Maybe, probably. But, I mean, there are some other crates, so why would those crates exist? Hmm. Why would those crates even exist? Actually, it's not even in the basement. It is uh, above the basement. But you gotta go to the basement to open up that thing. All right, let's deal with the fast biter. All right, let's activate this. Gates open. We still have to go from the other side then. All right, so every time you come to this place, you'll have to do those things from the beginning. You have to have like, what, at least six transistors. Yo, Gaga Kremak, welcome to the stream. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hopefully you're having a great day. Already expected the stream refresh the YouTube many times, and here I am. <laughs> welcome to the stream, Gygak. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Hopefully you're having a nice... Uh, Sunday. Almost said Saturday, even though it's Sunday. Alright, let's get that katana. Oh no, oh no, I just got spitted on. So most of the loot in this place is useless. I mean, you can probably get some... A stack of berries! Hmm. That is really... Hmm. Oh no, you do get that... Uh, satellite dish or whatever that's called, the antenna. In the sewers. Alright, let's disassemble that. Let's stop it, I mean... Let's loot this thing, and probably we're not getting an antenna here either, alright? So you cannot get an antenna, you just get garbage. Why? That is actually sad. Well, there's one more thing that I'd like to do. Let's go all the way around it. Then we can open up the door here, we can fix another switchboard. You hear the rattle of the mechanisms. And something happened, what happened? I don't know. But hey, let's drop another box. And this box is probably gonna have nothing either. There we go. It doesn't have any more of those antennas. So you'll probably get antennas only here. You won't get antennas anywhere else. Which is a little bit sad. Well, whatever. Let's go lower. 
Wow, full stack of berries. I mean, that's not that much, but I mean, stack of berries is stack of berries. Like, if if you're a new player, maybe those berries are fine. Like, on our free to play account, I'd probably take those berries and I'll heal, I'd heal up with them, so. Well, there we go. Let's activate this. Let's open the door. Here, taking a gas mask maybe would be cool. I have no idea. But let's deal with the floater bloater. And with the exploder. Oh no, I'm gonna die here. I forgot that I was using the katana for a second there. Alright, let's do that. The gas is off. We could probably wall trick here even. Well, it didn't work on this wall. Maybe it will work on this wall. Well, yes, indeed. So we can kind of wall trick here to be able to do this place a little bit cheaper. But again, there's the exploder. It's going to be trickier to deal with the exploder. Should have just kept shooting. I have no idea what's going on today. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so scared of these exploders today. Should have just kept shooting and the guy would have died. All right, that thing is already off. There's something here, but I can't click it. Well, there we go. The electricity is off. Now we can probably loot this chest. An antenna, perhaps? No, I didn't get an antenna. Was I supposed to get an antenna here? Please tell me I was supposed to get an... No, don't tell me that I was supposed to get an antenna here. I don't remember where we get an antenna. I've forgotten. Maybe a little bit further. Here we go. That's where we are supposed to get an antenna. Please tell me that's where we're going to get the antenna. Please, pretty please. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we've gotten the antenna. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, let's bring this generator. So after we bring this generator, then we'll have one more chest open up there on the top floor. So that's what we'll do. All right, that's epic. Let's deal with these guys. Let's go back to the first floor and let's open up one more chest there. Yesterday I got no crate at all in the basement motel. That is sad. Mika Pika, that is sad. We'll go to the motel today very soon, so hopefully we'll get there something. Hopefully we'll get a couple of screws. And there's nothing else useful here. Okay. That is disgusting. I just don't get it. We've done something, right? We've clicked on this thing. Did that open the... The basement? Probably. Probably that opened up the basement. But hey, that's it, ladies and gents. There's nothing else that we could get here. Everything is kind of useless-ish. I want to see if it's still possible to get another shovel. Because last time we could have gotten a shovel here. Well, this time we don't get a free shovel. All right, so time for us to leave this place. We can go now to our basement. Let's drop that antenna and then let's go to the motel. And let's try to clear that place. But I probably, before we do all of that, let's go to the rest stop event. As that's a nice place to get free weapons. So let's go there. We've got another gas cylinder. And checking out daily events. Our calendar events. So tomorrow it looks like we're going to get daily bonus event. Then we'll have the dog breeder event. Then the bunker bravo. Then on 17th of August we'll get the arena event. The good old arena event. Alright, let's now hop back to the rest stop event. It's like today I've got a 33 seconds Rubik's Cube solve, says little chat. Very nice, congrats on your 33 seconds Rubik's Cube solve. Maybe today we'll do some Rubik's Cube solving as well. And uh, we'll do some speed cubing. And we'll see what time we'll get. Alright, they are fighting those zombies. So I'll go deal with the survivor real quick. Uh, and I did bring a spread shot. So how about we spread shot all of these guys. Alright, let's deal with one of the survivors. Another survivor. A 
first aid kit. Another first aid kit. And I will need to wait until the spread shadow resets. There we go. We could have just ran down and saved that one spread shot shot. But again, we had the spread shot. We might as well just use it. Uh, we're going to get a gasoline canister plus an M16. That's already nice. That is already a great chopper event. And there are a few more chests to loot. Oh my goodness. Four bandages, which is cool. But uh, look at the zombies. They're here already. All right, let's deal with the zombies. Well, plus we've gotten some points towards the season pass, which might be like, oh, so I can just stay here and farm those zombies, but those zombies won't be spawning forever. I think maybe after two or three waves, they just stop spawning. When? Raft. Tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow, there's another video of Raft. All right, let's just do one more spread shot on these guys. We'll get maybe a decent amount of points, and then we can skedaddle from here. There we go. A decent amount of those points once again. And now let's get back to the base. Let's drop the loot that we've gotten and then let's go to motel. But first of all, we got the settlement and we're going to drop the antenna there in the settlement. So that's going to be third antenna, third or second antenna. I'm not certain. I think that'll be maybe only second antenna. Psych, I don't have a lot of C4s and a spread shot. How do I deal with crawlers and the infected force? So you can use grenades there, which is going to be a little bit more tricky, but you can use grenades or grenade launchers. Other than that, it's going to be pretty hard to deal with them. All right, let's drop another antenna, guys. Check this out. So this is only a second antenna. That's not even a third antenna. This is only a second antenna. So we still need three more antennas. And only then we'll finish the headquarters. But right, now let's go to the motel because we need to get the screw uh, the screws. All right, let's go outside. And we can go to the motel right away. We kind of don't even have to go back. No, we don't. You know what? We have to go back to the base as we need to get a new armor. Okay, let's get a new armor. Just as always, we're going to eat some canned food just to restore the thirst and hunger. Let's um, get the new armor. I don't know if we've gotten the revenge raid. Probably not. Alright, we still haven't gotten the revenge raid. Alright, let's delete this armor. Then... Let's get an extra melee weapon. Me too, I only have two, says Mika Pika, very, I guess, epic. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get more antennas soon. I need three more. Is there anybody in the chat that has three antennas? I don't think anyone can have even three antennas right now. I think I've maybe missed a day or something, but I don't think you could have gotten three antennas. Maybe tomorrow some of you will get a third antenna. But I don't think that so far anyone has three antennas yet. I think two antennas... That's max you can get. Yeah, tomorrow I'll get one. Yes, some of you say that you'll get it tomorrow. No, but tomorrow will. Yeah, tomorrow the factory resets for me. Yeah, for a lot of you tomorrow the factory resets. Because I do know apparently I've missed a day. Can't you just repair it, says Isaac? No, you cannot just repair it because you need antennas so you can't repair it. We need antennas. Alright, let's now let's go to the whatever that place is called. I forgot the motel. I usually don't step my foot there. But after this new update, it's kind of alright to go there because we need the screws, so we might as well just check that place out. It's like, are we going to get State of Decay 2 videos? I really enjoy the series. I don't know if there will be more State of Decay 2 videos, but there will be more Miss Survival videos. Miss Survival is coming out very soon. I think we'll start even Miss Survival before we finish Raft. 
there will be like two, three more videos of Raft, so no worries about that. We'll finish Raft tomorrow. There's a new video of Raft. But maybe after, after tomorrow, there will be a first episode of Mr. Rival. Then we'll do another one of Raft and another one of Mr. Rival and we'll keep going. And then there will be more Mr. Rival after we finish Raft. Something like that. All right, let's get the melee weapon. And let's try to deal with these guys. All right, so we apparently don't get any screws inside of the motel. We only get screws outside of the motel, inside of that basement. I'll still quickly get the grenade, though. It's free. And if you have a burglar skill, you should be going to motel and getting that grenade. So now you have even more reasons to come here because you'll be able to get those screws and you'll be able to get the grenades. I hate the fact that you get only one antenna from the factory, says Mr. Emmanuel. I actually think it's all right. I don't mind getting only one antenna from the factory. I think maybe it's only for now. Maybe later on they'll make the factory reset every day, not every two days, because why well, would be resetting every two days? So I think they'll reduce the timer. I think they're doing the same thing that they've done with the crates in Bunker Alpha. Like you had to open up 15 crates in Bunker Alpha for, for Act 1. Now it's only three crates. So maybe they'll reduce the amount of... The cooldown timer, maybe. Or maybe they won't reduce the cooldown timer. To be honest, I'm fine with the way it is. To be honest, even after you assemble those headquarters and everything else there, nothing new is probably going to unlock for you. Like, even if you build that minivan. Right now, it's pointless. Like, all those things that we have there are probably pointless. We have to wait until the new update. At least that's what developers said. That after the new update will... There'll be something epic. We can even maybe... Check this thing out. Wait, let's get the grenade. That's what we came here for. And there we go, guys. This thing, that's what I'm talking about. That it's permanent content. The new location will become a part of the global map and will be at your complete disposal. It's important to mention that even though it's fundamental update, it's not actually that big. It provides the necessary basis for when we're planning for the future and many other things that will come to develop in the upcoming update. The most major of which is planned for the fall. So yeah, it will have significantly more permanent content and the new base will play a key role there. So hey, we need to wait till the new update. And there's that. Now let's go to the basement. And yeah, as we already know, some people are speculating that maybe the future update uh, will make the settlement a bit cheaper. Like all of those garages, the minivans and whatever will become cheaper, which I don't know if that's going to be the case. As I said, I don't think they're really that expensive. Like if you've been playing this game for a month or two, you, you're going to have like more or less decent amount of loot. Like if you have your chopper... You're going to be able to do those things as well. They're not really that expensive. I could probably do that in our free to play account if you just keep clearing uh, Bunker Alpha regularly and we keep farming things. All right, let's go back here. Yo, SP97, welcome to the stream. Uh, Los Marangas, welcome, welcome. Welcome to all those that have just joined. I just got four screws from the. from the. Farm. You mean from the motel or from the farm? SP97. What's up, sorry? How you're doing, mate? I just got four screws from the farm. Did you mean that you've gotten them from the motel or you literally said that you've gotten them from the farm? I don't think it's even possible to get screws at the farm. How? I'm just gonna assume that you meant motel, not farm. I got five screws from the motel. like provide a giveaway I'm not the one providing giveaways it's not uh, my game I can't just be like oh guys I'm gonna do a giveaway I'm not the one doing the giveaways for the backpacks and <laughs> whatever else no new loot at the farm yet says Lost Mermangus yeah, it doesn't really look like there's new loot there we've checked that out uh, during the last live stream and you guys told me, a lot of you told me that there is nothing new in the motel yet. But I'm pretty certain after we assemble the headquarters, another location will open up. 
something else will open up. And you can get antennas from factory too. Yes, you get the antennas from the factory and you get the... The screws from the basement in the motel. All right. All right, let's deal with the floater bloater. Yo, insane. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Will you continue your free to play series again? Maybe we'll start a new account. And luckily, we've gotten three screws. Three screws is better than zero screws because a lot of you told me that you've either gotten one screw or zero screws. So you know what? Three screws is fine. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with those three screws. Cannot activate anything there and nothing there either. All right, let's get back to the base. Let's drop those three screws. So it is going to take a while to assemble... Wait, there's uh, the headquarters and barracks. So it'll take time to assemble the barracks and the headquarters. For the headquarters, we need three more... Uh, antennas, so that's a week. And I have no idea how many more screws... We need to get. I have no idea how many screws we have now. So we'll go now to the settlement and we'll check it out how many screws we are at. Sayaka, I have 200 purple cards. Well, that's a lie. I've almost completed the headquarters. Some items aren't even in the game yet. For the headquarters, all the items are in the game. Cleared sewers and still no asbestos. Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of people as well. So apparently asbestos are not in the game yet, but I think they're going to unlock after we finish the the headquarters. I think they'll be there after we finish the headquarters. All right, so we need, wow, 29. No, not 29, but 19. I'm an idiot. So we need 19 more screws. And let's say we're getting three screws every... How often? How often does the motel reset? It'll take us a while to finish the barracks. That's all I'm saying. We're only a third of the way there, basically. It's going to take us a while. Every 36 hours. So every day and a half. That's what I thought. Every day and a half. That's 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 going to take us forever in a little bit, guys. We're not going to do it anytime soon. Because even though it resets every day and a half, I don't log into the game every day and a half. I log in around every two days. Sometimes not even that. So it's going to take us a while to get it. But we will get it. We will get it. All right, let's go back to the base and let's talk to the raiders and let's start preparing for the raid number one of the day. Wait, can't you use rations to get these items? No, rations don't work. Like, they do work, but you're not going to get the screws or the antennas. So sadly, it's impossible. Which again, I'm not really rushing. As I said, if it was... If it was like ATV, you know, for ATV, I was there when Bunker Bravo resets, like... I was making videos on Bunker Bravo, and even off-camera, I was grinding Bunker Bravo just to be able to get those gas cylinders as... Hey, that was new content here so far. We don't really have any new content, so I don't have to wake up in the middle of the night to clear the factory. Just because... I can get there an antenna. It's not like I was waking up in the middle of the night for the bunker, bravo, but you get the point. So here, I'm not really rushing with that. We'll build it. As I said, there's nothing new yet. Anyway, so little by little, but we'll build that stuff. Let's drop this. Let's drop the gasoline. Doing the big hunt. Wait, do we have the big hunt event? We still probably have it. Yes, we got the big hunt event. Has anybody done it? Is this still the same garbage event? Is it still exact same garbage event? We'll check it out right now. We have the melee weapons. And let's go for it. I'll just get... An extra stack of first aid kits. We'll get some carrot stews and that's it. And you know what, guys? Finally, it's... Colder today here. For the past month... Maybe it's even been over a month. Maybe a month and a half since it rained here. Finally, it's raining today, and it is 26 degrees Celsius. It'll be 29, it says. But yeah. 
So it's a little bit colder. And it was always 35, 37 Celsius for the, like the past month. So that's pretty epic. Maybe rations work if you spend like 100 rations or even more. I spent 50 for the factory and I get zero antennas. Uh, that's more than enough for me. <laughs> I got zero antennas. That's more than enough. Well, that's a positive attitude. So I don't think we'll get anything there because it's the same thing like auto clearing bunker uh, alpha. You can auto clear it, but it doesn't mean you'll get chopper gas tanks there or anything. So same thing probably here. You can auto clear these places, but you won't get the antenna. Plus, I haven't gotten a single weapon mod blueprint, so I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, where is the thing? I was going somewhere. Oh, we are doing the things. Limestone spires, pine groves. Let's go to the limestone spires. Pine grove. There we go. We got the pine grove, so let's go to the pine grove. Do you have any Winchesters at your base? Probably we do, but we don't touch them. They're just there collecting dust. You can get the antennas, but they are rare. From auto clearing, I don't know. I haven't seen anyone say that they've gotten an antenna from auto clearing. There's that random guy. Hey, I've gotten an antenna from auto clearing. Lies. You're just lying. Stop lying. So yeah, I haven't seen or heard anyone get an antenna from auto clearing. So I don't think it's possible. And I've auto cleared myself three or something times and I haven't gotten it. So you know what? We don't get it. It's like you use Mimo, right? Yes, I do use Mimo. The Mimo emulator. Yes. All right, let's go to the top. What locations do you use rations on? Well, you can use on whatever location. If you need wood, then auto clear wooden green locations. If you need stones, then you can auto clear like green or red stone locations and that's it. What version of Android do you emulate? I have no idea. There is only, I don't think you get to choose one when it boots up. I have no idea, honestly. I don't, I don't remember. Unless I can check the settings here right now. Wait. Uh, preference. Storage. Um. Oh my god, Tyke, you ruined everything. You broke it. Uh. Even in the settings. Oh, it's Android 7.1.2. That's the 7.1.2. There we go. That's the android that it's emulating. Oh my god, Tyke, thank you so much. You're my hero. You're welcome. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Where's the one more feral zombie? Thirty-two or sixty-four bit. I'll drop kick you. Um, uh, probably 64 bit. I don't know. It doesn't say anywhere here that I can access easily. So, well, there's that. It's gotta be probably 64. I do know that some... There was a problem with Last Day on Earth and it wouldn't work maybe for a while. Doing some sort of an update with 64-bit emulator. Maybe I'm confusing something. I don't know, but... Yeah. Everything should be default. Hey, Syrek, are you into fitness? Says Blue Spirit. Of course, I am an athlete. I am a bodybuilder athlete. You can't see that? Oh my god, Tyke, I'm sorry. There's nothing to apologize for, it's fine. I'm an athlete. Let's go to the pine bushes.
Psych, what's your opinion on the spray backpack skin from the SP? What on earth is SP's season pass? <laughs> it's like, whenever people do acronyms for some words, whenever they short shorten the word, I have to think about it. What does SP mean, season pass? All right. Why do I have to use my brain? Reading a sentence. <laughs> Why can't you guys speak with full words? Uh, but yeah, the backpack. I don't even know. Wait, speaking of that backpack, what backpack are we even talking about? There's that skin that I didn't even try, didn't even see. There were so many skins added to the game, and I probably haven't even tried most of them. And there we go, this backpack. What do I think about it? Probably don't care about it. That's my opinion. I haven't even tried it yet, and I probably won't try it. Uh, where are the festering zombies? There we go, one more festering zombie. Golden medal in running, jumping, sprinting, marathon, biking, soccer, basketball, volleyball, uh, golf, sniping, and esports. Says insane. Yes, those are my achievements. Also, I have the biggest biceps, biggest natural biceps, and biggest natural quads, biggest natural abs. What can I say? A world-class athlete. Universe-class athlete? Hmm? <laughs> Happy Psych is a juggernaut compared to Hercules. 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 How do I pronounce Hercules? Hercules. Hercules. This is silly. Uh, let's go to the limestone spires. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, limestone spires are gonna be the red location, right? I've played this game for over... For almost five years, right? Five years are coming soon. I've been playing this game for almost five years and I still don't know where the limestone spires. I only know the pine bushes, that's it. I know that the pine bushes are green and the... Is that limestone ridge? Limestone ridge, limestone spires, and limestone cliffs. Maybe. Hercules. 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 Dude, like... This is stupid. Hercules. 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 Okay, it's Hercules. Understandable. Have a nice day. That's what I said, guys, from the first try. Um, let's get that machete. And we need to find the smasher. All right, let's find the smasher. Hello. How many more steps do I have to do? To find that schmuck. Looting these chests is pointless. There's no way we'll get an antenna or screws here. We can get a free katana though. So let's get that. Is the smasher always in the same spot? Like in the down left corner or something? Maybe. Well, there's nothing up the top, so I'll try to go all the way down. We'll see if we can find that uh, smasher there. And last time during the live stream, I spoke about pickled onions, right? I said that I'll try pickle, pickled onions. And I made them, ladies and gentlemen. Still haven't tried them. I mean, I did try them, but I didn't use them in any dish. There was no opportunity for me to use those pickled onions yet. But I made them. I have pickled onions, finally, for the first time in my life. I don't know if I'll ever use them, but hey, I have them. There we go, there's the smasher. We found the schmuck. Okay, he does a decent amount of damage. He does indeed... ...a decent amount of damage. Have you tried Kool-Aid pickles? Have no idea what on earth is a Kool-Aid pickle. <laughs> Kool-Aid pickle. I don't know what it is. It was that. I think we can do that event once again. Let's go back to the big hunt. Let's now collect the rewards. Let's refresh it and let's do it again. And then we can open up the loot and once again say that this event is absolute trash. Because this event is garbage. Even if you get premium for this event, it's still garbage. 
Like, it's it's an absolutely terrible event. Pine bushes, limestone cliffs. And kill the Reaper at the factory, dude. There's a factory. We have to go to the factory to kill the Reaper. What? Well, let's go to the limestone cliffs. Have you tried mango or not yet? Yes, I've tried mangoes. I've tried one mango. This event was good in the past. Was it ever good? I don't remember this event ever being good. The big hunt event and good, those two words don't even match. All right, that was one groaner. There's got to be more of them. There's got to be more groaners, ladies and gents. All right, another groaner, and there's one more groaner left. They all look the same, like Acid Melter, but yet it's a groaner. Okay, let's skedaddle from this place then. Pine bushes, pine bushes, pine bushes, pine bushes. Let's go to the pine bushes, ladies and gents, and then we'll go to the factory. So also, some people were asking that hey, what's gonna happen with the colonel, or maybe that wasn't the colonel, but there was some sort of a zombie that raiders wanted you to kill, and it would only spawn in the red forest, so now that zombie spawns at the factory, I guess. And it's just gonna spawn without it resetting. So even if you've cleared it, the zombie's gonna spawn there, I guess. I assume, I have no idea. But yeah, that colonel, or whatever his name is, should be at the factory. Alright, let's search for the bloodthirsty pests. Alright, I want to see one. I actually saw two of them. There's one more up the top. Let's deal with this guy. And another guy. And another one. And DJ Khaled spawned. I've said way too many times another one. All right, there's gotta be the fifth one. There we go. So we are done with this task. There's only one more guy left to kill, and we have to go now to the abandoned factory. The settlement is permanent and going there doesn't cost any energy. Yes, that's absolutely true. So you can travel between your base and the settlement for free without any energy. That's kind of cool. What mission is the most interesting so far in Last Day on Earth? Survival says Raven. Bunker Alpha. Bunker Alpha is the best mission you'll ever do. But Tank, I've been clearing Bunker Alpha for three years now. Clear Bunker Alpha. Alright, so where's the Reaper? Where does it spawn? Do I have to wait for it to appear? Does it spawn somewhere randomly? There we go, there's the Reaper! He was in the bushes. Alright, cool. He does a bleeding effect though. So maybe let's get this M16 real quick and let's deal with the Reaper. And there we go, we are done now with all of these tasks. Last day on Earth, more like first day in Bunker Alpha. Yes, indeed. It's your first day in Bunker Alpha every single day for five years now. Uh, Where is the thing? There we go. We have to go now to the calendar. And ladies and gents, let's open up the big hunt. And there we go. Let's get the loot. That's what we've been working for. There we go. We have gotten 130 of those keys. 130 keys rewards and let's open up the first box <laughs> look at the loot you don't even get anything nice from it 
we're gonna get one piece of leather. Very epic. We've gotten one robber part. Very epic. And I can't open up the second box! That is insane! And Coldbot! Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you're insane as well. Welcome, Coldbot. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here, mate. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. You're just in time for this insane crate opening. Mind blowing opening. This is just garbage. Oh my goodness. That's that's the that's the thing. Even this collector's crate isn't that great. Yikes. Yikes. So yeah, that is the worst event, like the big hunt event. It's maybe even worse than the gold rush event. Gold rush event is kind of garbage as well, though. Those two events are the worst events in the game. All right, let's go back here. Let's prepare for the raid. Let's go for it. Seriously, garbage event. We just did it to just double check it. The raid's still garbage. It's been garbage now for a long time, probably since the... Since the day they were released in those calendar events, right? We've had a similar event long ago. Like, we had an entire season, like, hunting season, where you had to craft nets, you had to throw those nets over the zombies, and then they simplified that event and they've put it into the calendar events. And now that's what we got. Basically nothing. Maybe because you didn't get premium. Like, what? We're gonna get premium in the season pass, and then we're gonna get the premium in the big hunt event. For... Only 949! And, uh... The loot is still gonna be garbage, even after we get the thing. It's not like we'll be able to open up more chests, we can only... We'd get some extra rewards. But that's it, we'll get extra keys, but it's, it will still get garbage loot. It's all garbage. It's all garbage, guys. Alright, so we have to recycle three guns, we have to kill three bulls at the farm, which... I'm not really certain if the farm is reset now or not. Limestone Ridge will never find that guy, the blind one, we might deal with them. Alright, so let's go outside and let's check it out. 4949, you can goop at the cheaper price. You can get goop. You can goop. There's There are other ways of how we can get it, but it's... Like, you don't have to pay 10 bucks, you can pay 5 bucks, but it's still garbage, like, still, that thing is garbage, like, I, I don't advise anybody getting it. Let's go to the settlement. Wait, it's the task that says to the settlement. I was checking the... The bunker alpha still resets in one hour, and this thing resets in 44 minutes, so we can't really go there. So we can't really do that either. Yo, Colbert, thanks for the super chat. Here, get that premium. Stop it! You can't force me to get that premium. Let's see if that makes a difference. Maybe landmines. I mean, we don't need Here, to see get it. that premium. Let's Gold see if that makes a difference. Maybe Gold landmines. Colbert, thanks for the super chat. Check this out. Even if we get the premium, we will get the extra rewards here. That's all the premium will unlock. We will get the extra metal pipe. We will get those couple of extra collector's keys. Some more scavenger keys. But the simple box will still remain the same. There are no landmines here. And we will get the... The, 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 the no landmines here in the collector's crate either. Like what I will get now if we get the premium. We will get... Extra keys, and we will get these rewards. We will get the... Those are the stored rewards. So if you didn't get the premium, but let's say you've cleared... You've done a couple of the assignments. Like, probably this, these collector keys and those scavenger keys, they go into, like, some sort of a storage for you to buy that premium later on. But still, I don't think it's really that much worth it. So, yeah. But hey. For the sake of education, if you wanted, we can get it. But I don't think that's gonna be big of an education as it's just... Five iron plates and like something else there. The event will end in one day. Yes, plus the event ends quite soon. Like from all of the events... This is probably the worst event to buy the premium pass. 
maybe worth it if you're a new player. It's not worth it even if you're a new player. It's pretty goop. But yeah, let's get this. So yeah, we couldn't kill the three bulls. We couldn't kill the blind one as the bunker is not reset yet. And I'm pretty certain we've killed the blind one last time. So I can't do that. We cannot do this. We can only disassemble three guns. Let's grab the armor and let's go for the raid. And yeah, the biggest problem about it is that the event doesn't last for a long time. I mean, it's a premium, right? But it's not like you'll get insane rewards there and the event usually lasts only for a few days. It's not like the event's gonna last for two weeks or something. You can get an entire season pass for five bucks that'll last like, what, 25 days or something? But that event will last only three days, which is really kind of 90 plus. Then you can get another premium pass, ladies and gentlemen. You might be like, Sai, how many premium passes are in this game? Well, 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 I'm glad you asked. And there is another premium pass <laughs> in the in the new beginnings. You can get premium pass here as well. Plus, I'm pretty certain some more uh, soon, even more rewards will be in this premium. So yeah, there will be even more things there. Wow. Everything is premium. Premium there. Everybody gets premium and everybody needs <laughs> premium. The three guns to recycle. Let's go, guys. Let's recycle three weapons. One, two, and three. What will happen after you build a truck? I have no idea. Probably nothing, though. I don't think we got anything there yet. Even developers themselves said that this update is just... It's just an update. We'll get more things later on. All right. Let's recycle this. You get a premium, and you get a premium, says Jayla S. Yes, indeed, and you get a premium. Everyone gets a premium. Bunker Alpha? Hmm? You need premium to clear it. <laughs> Bunker Alpha premium crates. Now you don't get guns from Bunker Alpha anymore, until, unless you buy a premium. Hmm. That's it. That's my first step. As the CEO, even though Last on Earth is already following my steps, if I was the CEO, I would premiumize everything in this game. And they're already starting to premiumize everything the acts, the random events, the season passes. Very smart. Here we go. I'm shaking the hand of the developers. And uh, still, I would premiumize Bunker Alpha. Five, uh, 499 for. Three days seems about right. All right, let's get leather. Let's focus and let's go for the raid. Aluminum, like white chocolate, says Daniels. Yes, indeed. I can't be the only one who... Who thought that aluminum looks like chocolate. It does look like chocolate. And everybody agrees on that. It does look like chocolate. If I could have bite it. Facts. Alright, let's grab the armor and let's go for the raid. Like, don't you think getting all that stuff for the settlement is a bit too expensive? Uh, right now, its settlement is pointless. There's nothing inside of the settlement, so you shouldn't be probably assembling the settlement. Like, if it's too expensive for you, you probably shouldn't be doing it, as there's nothing to do yet. I think you should be clearing the factory, you should be clearing the motel, you should be finding those screws, etc., etc. But... Yeah, it is a bit expensive, like those 20 or something or 40 copper bars. That is a bit expensive. But for now, those the settlement doesn't even do anything. It's just there. Same thing as level 5 walls. They're just there. Oh, 
I want to see when they add animated ads in Bunker Alpha Walls. They should be adding them. They should definitely do that. I would love that. Animated ad poster in Bunker Alpha. <laughs> That'd be epic. All right, guys, let's drop the loot. It definitely took us way too much time to sort the inventory. Maybe barracks for mercenaries. Maybe the mercenaries are coming back. Maybe mercenaries will be back. Maybe, maybe. That's a great idea. I'd, I haven't even thought of that. Finally, guys, after 84 years, we've sorted out the inventory. Time for us to go to the raid number uno. Let's go. It's like, I like uno. And there's... Recently, I've seen that meme. And that's absolutely true. If you've ever played uno with your family... Or even with whomever you played Uno. Every time you have two cards, the person will say DOS. I can't be the only one. Everybody's done that. Don't lie that you haven't done that. But Sayak, I've never played Uno. I don't know what is Uno. Boomer. All right, let's craft some hatchets. Let's get some wood. Let's get some stones. Never know. What do you mean, guys? No, every time you have two cards in Uno, some people say DOS because they think they're funny. And I did that. I said DOS. And you said DOS as well, and don't lie to me. Or there will be consequences. Three, four, and five hatchets. Let's get the beans. I've never heard anyone say that. Guys, stop it! Get out of here, you liars! What do you mean you've never heard anyone say that? My disappointment is immeasurable and my day's been ruined. Probably have even some stuff in the in the chopper. I don't have to explain the memes. And I say DOS. I have two cards in Uno. I'll say DOS because I'm like that. The only people that say that is someone who's on another planet. No, they don't. Um, let's go for the raid number one of the day. Uh, Elder E raid player 7461. Oof. Oh my god, Saik, what's that? What did that oof mean? Is that... Is that a great base, Saik? What did the oof mean? All right, let's go. Let's go, my Uno players. There's Uno game. There's even a DOS game, literally. The cards are going to be called DOS, not even Uno, and I've seen them. But I digress. Let's get back to the game. Let's deal with the first raid. And then we'll have the second raid. Because, as you can see, the first raid is mind-blowing. Alright, so inside of the first chest, we're gonna get a Glock. We're gonna get some steel plates. Some steel plates. One steel plate. 
Have you found any buyers or as uh, wires or asbestos? No. Jayla S upgraded membership to level two. Jayla S, <laughs> thanks for upgrading the membership. Thank you for being here, Jayla. Thanks for supporting the stream. Uh, welcome, welcome. And we are trying to open up the chests. Uh, let's get another Glock. There we go. We've gotten now two Glocks. We've gotten another armor. And uh, what else do we have there? Probably nothing. And another Glock armor. So that's not that bad. This is not a terrible raid. We've gotten worse raids for sure. Plus we've gotten a stack of first eight, uh, stack of bandages. Oh my god, it's like 50 yellow tickets. Okay, let's take those uh, tickets. Mm, little bit of armor. And let's deal with this stuff. And the screws, yeah. Uh, have you found any wire screws? Yes, I found the screws. You can only find screws and antennas. You cannot find asbestos, the spark plugs, and the metal wires. You cannot find those things. I think they'll be available a little bit later after you assemble the headquarters. Maybe then we'll be able to get them. How long does it usually take to build the boat? It depends. Oh my god, thank you so much for such an amazing answer. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. I'll definitely answer them. All right, you know what? Let's bring these things as well. We have the bookshelf. I might as well just store more of those items. So you know what? This raid gets like approval. How would you rate it from zero to 10? I'd give it maybe a four, four and a half, four. Four Glocks equals four out of ten, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. A lot of you are giving a five, even a six out of ten. Hmm. It's because of that SWAT armor. If we haven't gotten that armor, you'd give it a zero, guys. You're obsessed with that armor. Oh, let's go back home. So yeah, four, four and a half. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it four, out of, uh, four and a half out of ten. Very nice, very nice. I was thinking a three, says Jayla. A three for four guns and a stack of med kits. Actually, we've gotten two stacks of bandages. Four and a half easily. Four and a half. Very nice raid. Well, maybe nice raid. Maybe not very, very nice raid, but just nice raid. Let's drop these guns and let's get ready for the second raid of the day. There was one more iron hatchet. Well, we didn't need to take it. We didn't need that extra iron hatchet. Uh, let's drop it, drop it. Let's drop the tickets in the bookshelf and let's get ready for the raid number uh, two. Yes, raid number two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. The steel, the bandages, and the armor. Let's go. And recently, guys, I made a homemade pizza. Oh my god, like nobody asked! I made a homemade pizza. The homemade dough. Homemade grown tomatoes. Even the cheese was homemade. Cow was homemade. Everything was homemade. Oops, I didn't mean to drop the clock there. Now let's talk to the Raiders. Let's give them an electronic circuit. Was it delicious? It was great. It was better than some pizzas that I've tried here. So it was all right. Cow was homemade, but how? Well, the cow was homemade. 
I don't know how it was homemade, but the cow was homemade, milk was homemade, everything was homemade. We need to deal with 20 waves of zombies, which we could probably do. 21st aid kits, the three piglets, we found them. What's saying These are doggos! From now on, they're piglets. We found three piglets, and we need to deal with the witch. Let's go outside and let's see if she's even reset. I didn't get screws from the basement the second time. Why? Says Chad Neek. I don't know why. But sometimes that happens. I've seen some people not getting it. Cyric. My M16 consists of grip, drum magazine, and a red dot. Are these good mods? Says, okay, boomer. Uh, make sure to check out my... Gun modification video. Just type Cyric gun mods and or LDOE Cyric mods And you'll find both of those videos where I share all the mods or, And where I explain all the mods In the game And which ones you should be using But I think the ones that you have are good uh, Let's get these weapons Actually, we'll get the AK, the Glock, and whatnot. And two spread shots. That's more than enough weapons, probably. Plus, we have these two extra Glocks. Let's get another stack of first aid kits. Let's upgrade the weapons and let's go. Let's deal with the witch. Screws are not that important than antenna at the moment. Make sure you finish the headquarters first. Yes. But, I mean, it doesn't take anything to clear the sewers as well. The... The screws, right? To, to clear the motel to get the screws. It doesn't really cost much anyways to clear that place, so... We can clear that as well. Bro created a cow homemade. Yes, indeed. In the lab. And the lab was homemade. Everything was homemade, guys. So the homemade pizza, right? I cooked it in the oven, but the, I kind of burned the crust. The crust around that pizza was a little bit too hard, and that was the biggest problem with the homemade pizza. The crust gets in the way, it gets way too hard, and there's again the tips and tricks. Oh my god, it's like, do not dry, do you have to do this and that? Well, my crust always dries, alright? And this time I was like, you know what, I'll just cut it off, and I just cut off the crust, and the pizza was... Mwah. That's it. The homemade pizza? I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. It was a really decent homemade pizza. I didn't have any pepperoni at that time. If I had pepperoni, that'd be a solid 8. What do we still need for the settlement? We need everything. We have a lot of things that we need for the settlement. Um, Where do we go? I forgot. Okay, we gotta go to the infected forest. Let's go, guys. Let's go to the infected forest. Pepperoni bussin', yes indeed. Pepperoni is bussin' indeed, but I didn't have any. And also another epic news. But it's like, we don't care. So, the favorite game, my favorite game of all time, Gothic, right? Gothic 1, Gothic 2, those were amazing games. And now they're working on the remake of that game. And recently, I think a few days ago, maybe even yesterday, maybe before yesterday, they've shown the... They showcased the remake. In the THQ Nordic event. So that is so epic. If you haven't seen it yet, just type Gothic Remake uh, Showcase or something. Like that, and you should be able to see it. If you're interested in that game. In the remake. If you've been a fan of Gothic, then hey. Super excited for the remake. Like 10 out of 10 excited. Alright, let's deal with the witch now. That is the only game that I want to see remade. I'd take er anything about that game. There are a lot of cool games coming out, but that gothic remake is the only game that I'm like... 11 out of 10 pumped about. Alright, the witch is gonna scream. Let's get the spread shot. 
Oh no, oh no, the wolf -o. No! Couldn't even shoot the diseased wolf -o. Well, whatever, mistakes were made. Spread shot! Kind of wasted it. Oh, Could have been worse. Could have been better. Six out of ten spread shot. Six out of ten spread shot. Alright, let's get back to the blob. Oh my goodness, the stupid witch. It's like, have you played Ghost Recon Breakpoint? No. Probably heard of it, but never played it. It's like, do you have a special pizza stone? Better to bake pizzas on it. I had a... I have a special baking pizza stone. And I've even had a special baking pizza thing. But it broke. That's where I have that pizza baking stone from. All right, let's uh, get the spread shot. Can I kill the disease wolf fast enough? No! Got him. There goes one of those disease wolves is dead. Do you play Skyrim? I used to play Skyrim. I played Skyrim a long time ago. I think long time ago, maybe five, six years ago. I don't remember when. There was even a video on YouTube where I played Skyrim. I've made maybe one or two episodes. But that video doesn't exist anymore, obviously. But yeah, I've also played Skyrim for a while myself. Alright, that's it. We've dealt with the witch. The witch is dead. Should have been using that leg shot more often. Uh, I've kind of forgotten about it. Yeah, should have used it definitely way more often. Have you played any Dead Space series? No. I've heard of it as well, but never played it. I don't know, guys, if you've heard of this game, but I have played Last on Earth Survival. That's the game I've played. I don't know if any of you heard of it. But I have played Last on Earth Survival. Pretty decent game. I have one or two videos of it on the channel here. I suggest checking it out. It's like, when is the new scum video coming? More scum videos. So I don't really know when there will be more scum videos. Probably as soon as the... Um, 0.88 update comes out, there will be more scum videos because currently we are playing Raft and I'm gonna start Miss Survival as Miss Survival has gotten a brand new update. So after maybe scum gets 0.8 update, there will be more scum survival. The day before is releasing in 2023, January on Steam. Are you gonna play it? It's not on January 2023. It's probably March or June. I'm gonna go on Steam store and the day before it's on June probably or March. It's on March 1st, not on January. So probably maybe they'll even move the date again. Are you gonna play it? Yes, if it comes out, I'll play it. Again, depends what's... how the game's gonna be. But currently, all the sneak peeks, all the things that we've seen, it looks like it's gonna be a huge game, but... a lot of people are skeptical about it, so I don't know. We'll see. Um... What are we doing? We are going to clear 20 waves at the police department. Say, let's take... Let's take, well, let's take a stack of grenades and that's it. The good old stack of grenades. And just to not mess this up, Cyric, don't take the reanimator, Cyric. We'll not, we're not gonna die. We don't need the reanimator. But that's why reanimator is here for, right? Just in case if we die, we don't need it. But just in case, let's pop one. Whoa! That's epic. We use the reanimator. All right, let's get a few extra weapons. And let's go. That should be enough for 20 waves. That should be enough. Do you know you can get a C4 in the abandoned factory? I haven't gotten it myself. But in the rewards list, it says that you can get a C4 in the, in the abandoned factory. So maybe it is possible, but I haven't gotten it yet myself.
take the flamethrower. Well, where are we gonna take it to? To the... To do 20 waves with the flamethrower? Flamethrower is goop. Repeat it after me, guys. Flamethrower is goop. That's the only way to describe that flamethrower. I'll take both of these armors. I'll use this one and then I'll have another one and that'll be more than enough. Let's get some food. There we go. Let's get it. That's it. I think we can roll now. Flamethrower is goop. Very nice, guys. Thank you. How can we get more flamethrowers? I don't think we can get more flamethrowers. I think you get one flamethrower. No, you get two flamethrowers in the act one and that's it. You don't get more flamethrowers. All right, let's go to the Blackboard PD. And let's do 20 waves. And then we will go for the second raid of the day. Have you played the game named Happy Cyric? What? Excuse me? How do I start Act 2? Because every time I try to start it, it says finish Act 1 and return home. Even though I have finished Act 1 and I'm at home. So... You have to get back home and there will be the truck. Your pickup truck. Go to the pickup truck, there will be Connor. You talk to Connor there. That's how you start Act 2. Alright, let's deal with this guy with the Jailbird. We'll deal with these guys because when you use grenades, the guys in this room will be used to annoying. They will be quite annoying. Yo, Ash Ketchum, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Bonjour, as they say. Oh my god, take your French. It's amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Alright, let's deal with this hungry chomper as well. And then let's battle. Get the spread shot and let's start wave number one. As I said, 20 waves and then we can leave this place. We'll do 99 waves quite soon as it's been a while since we've probably done 99 waves. It's been a hot minute. Well, maybe it's been over a week. I don't even know when was the last time that we've done 99 waves. Maybe some of you remember that, but... Let's deal with these guys. I think now we can use the grenade. Let's go on this way. We've taken 20 nades. We might as well just use them. All right, let's get a Glock. This Glock is going to break quite soon, but whatever. Let's break it fully. Are you doing 20 waves? Yes, we are doing 20 waves because the Raiders want us to do that stuff. So that we can do another raid. But Elsa has a severe case, case of kyphosis. For sure, due to that fridge. What on earth is kyphosis? I've never heard of it, but it doesn't sound good. And my character is training his back with that fridge. <laughs> so he doesn't have any kyphosis. He has a big back pack and a back. All right, let's go to the sixth wave. No, 99 waves. No, we're not doing 99 waves today. I mean, maybe we could, but that's too late. I'm not ready for it. I didn't prepare. I didn't take enough grenades. I didn't take enough of anything. 
So I can't really do it. The armor is going to break any moment. Look at the armor. It still has some durability. Still quite decent. Why developers nerfed guns? It's sad. When did they nerf guns? When did they do it? Oh my goodness, okay, the guy didn't scream. I thought I'll get stunned there for a second. I knew that we're not gonna die, didn't panic, but that would have been mildly annoying. Mildly infuriating. Let's go to the wave number nine and another grenade. There we go. The gun broke, let's get another Glock. Wave number 10. I remember the first time when we were doing 99 waves. It was... That was something. And I'm pretty certain we failed. There's no way I've done 99 waves in the first try. I remember I failed. We failed 99 waves a few times. At wave 80 something. But yeah, those are the good old times. Alright, let's go. Let's pick up the loot. And I don't think I mentioned that, but you have to pick up the loot or the cards will despawn. I've witnessed that with my own eyes. And you've witnessed that, guys, as well on the live stream. You saw it. I started the wave and a few cards disappeared a few live streams ago. So that indeed happens. Once there are too many cards on the, on the floor... They'll despawn when new zombies spawn. So, yeah. As apparently there's only a limited amount of dead bodies that can be on the map. So be careful and try to pick up those cards as often as possible. No! He's gonna now use the shield. Nope. Usually, after each punch, he picks up the shield, but not this time. Which is kind of cool. All right, let's go wave 15. You're gonna beat your record. We have no record here. We are not even beating the record here. And I've missed all of these zombies. That is the worst grenade I've ever thrown. Pretty certain I've thrown worst grenades. But yeah, this one is definitely up there. All right, let's go wave 16. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Well, at least Hungry Chomper was damaged. At least it damaged the, damaged the Hungry Chomper. Mm, wave 17. All right, at least this grenade was all right. It was quite decent. Is it worth to kill the blind one every reset? Depends. Yes, kind of. Especially if you'll use your melee weapons on him if you want to get more guns. But you will get armor from the third crate. Bunker Alpha isn't only about the guns. You can get extra two armors. So killing the blind one is somewhat, somewhat worth it. Oops. Alright, I'm waiting for the guy to drop the shield. 
where we have only two blue cards, which is not bad for 20 waves. Again, as I said, the rule of thumb is about one blue card every 10 waves. So we're almost at 20 waves. So two blue cards is all right. Would be cool to get more. Obviously. You can never have too many cards. I'll probably use all of the grenades. We have four grenades, so we'll do four extra waves. Why not? Brown, 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 and nothing else. Let's go wave 21. Maybe we'll even open up three blue here today. Because why not? I wish we could fly the helicopter. We don't even have a helicopter. <laughs> and you're talking about flying it. We can't even drive the ATV. Alright, let's wait here. And that was the last wave that we can do because we are out of grenades here. And still only uh, two blue cards, which is... Decent, because sometimes you can do 20 waves and get zero blue cards, so at least we've gotten two of them. But could have been better, could have gotten three, four, five even. Maybe even more than that. So hey, let's exchange all the brown for green. Let's get extra blue. Say we have three blue cards. And let's open them up, ladies and gents. And then let's try to bring the loot back to the base if we have enough space for it. One, two, and three blue. So we can get an extra armor. Some guns. Some more weapons. And even more weapons. And yeah, all of these blueprints... Uh, are used already, so I already have all of those blueprints. So there's that. All right, let's bring all this loot back to the base and let's get ready for the second raid then. Let's prepare. My best run at police department was one week ago from 99 waves. I got 24 blue cards, says the Alex. Very nice. Congrats on your 24 blue cards. Very epic. Like if you want to know, if you want to go home, you can go to the settlement. It'll cost you less energy. Actually, maybe that's a decent, a decent tip and trick. Wait, I'll try to, it depends maybe from which side you're driving, but sometimes it is cheaper to get to the settlement and then from the settlement, you go back to your base. We'll need to check that the energy expenditure, but we'll check it out. I haven't thought of that. Mm, let's drop this. Laboratory hard mode? No, it's... We're not doing hard mode laboratory right now. But Cyric... I don't know when we'll do the hard mode laboratory, because if you... If, if it's your first time here, guys, we have gotten the medicine cabinet already from the hard mode laboratory, so I don't know why would we go there again. We kind of gotten the best reward there. So there's that. All right, let's drop the guns. More weapons. And now let's see what other tasks uh, raiders want me to do. From the gas station, it was 12 energy to the settlement and 15 to base. So you could save three energy here and there. That's an all right tip and trick. All right, let's get a C4. And all we need is just a stack of first aid kits. Hey, let's get the stack of first aid kits. Let's get three of that stuff. The two stacks of alcohol. Let's get the auto clicker. Auto what, Cyric? Nothing, just a... Nothing important. 
I basically lost my tactical backpack at the sewers. Apparently, exploders do not die at one health. Yeah, be careful with the exploders there at the sewers. If you can drive ATV around, you won't even need an axe or a C4. You can just ram through walls. But of course, it would make a lot of noise, says Isaac. All right. You have a huge... Uh, uh, vision. Oh, where's the... Where do I drop the C4s here? Uh, best location to get rich, says replay, and chat is answering Bunker Alpha. Very nice. I'm proud of you, chat. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You guys have finally learned. You knew that already. You knew that, guys, for a really long time. But it's always fun. Somebody asking a question and the answer being Bunker Alpha. It's like a meme. Alright, let's drop all the guns. Let's upgrade them. Let's get more first aid kits, the hatchets. And we can go, we can start rolling. Because we're not gonna go on foot, we will go on the chopper, so that's why we will roll. Uh, let's get stack of stones. Four and five. There we go. We got everything. I haven't upgraded the guns yet. Got him. We got the canned food, we got the guns, we got everything besides a C4. Let's get a C4. Maybe we have one in the chopper. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe. Maybe. That's it, let's up on the chopper and let's talk to the raiders. Unless I've already spoken to them, might be that I've already talked to them. Yeah, raiders are gone. So let's go. Let's see what this raid is going to be about. Just as always, let's do a little bit of research. The Danny, that'll be the base. Okay. Danny LDOE raid Danny 013. Let's see what Danny has to bring us. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't look like a terrible base. It looks like... Danny... Might have some decent loot. Maybe. Alright, Danny. Let's raid your hut. How does that oil pump work on your base? The oil pump? <laughs> the oil pump. It doesn't work with anything. The There's some sort of a pump that pumps water and there's another pump that gives you a random ore. Most of the time it's an iron ore. Let's go, Danny. Let's place the C4 on Danny's base. Nothing inside of the old pickup truck. 
we have no more sea force to explode any extra walls, which is nice. And that's it. Those are the chests that we'll have to open up. I don't know if we can open up all of them or we can open up only a... I mean, I'll try to open up as many of them as possible and then maybe I'll do more research. All right, some planks. Berry tea pump. Yes, that's not an oil pump. That is the berry tea pump. Oh, wow, guys. I've gotten another comment that I literally have no idea what it means, but it's always nice to read those kind of comments. What size? If you restart, do you lose all your weapons? You might be like, psych, maybe you... Maybe you read it incorrectly. No, literally. The dude says, what size if you restart do you lose all your weapons? What on earth is that supposed to mean? I have no idea. But hey, welcome to the stream, mate. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Nothing here. Just like a b bunch of random words <laughs> smashed together. We don't need the stones. Yo, Prangel, welcome to the stream. Helicopter soon. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Don't punish me. Maybe the helicopter soon. Maybe. Hopefully. Who knows? A little bit of leather. I'll take like a few stacks. We kind of have a lot of leather at the base, but I'll take some more. You can never have too much leather. I'll open this chest up. A little bit of thick cloth. Let's take that as we were running out of this stuff at the base. We had some of it in the inbox, but... Hey. Having it at the base is better. Isn't it super annoying that they made an artificial intentional barrier to complete the settlement by only getting one antenna per clear... Per two days. Like, why? Well, the settlement doesn't have anything new anyways. Like, you can complete it, but there's nothing you can do anyways at it, so... There isn't really a big reason to be sad about it. And this game is all about grinding. Like, everything takes you lots of clearings. Like, same thing with ATV, with Chopper, with the, the boat. Everything in the game's been like this, so saying that this is... Something different is weird. Like, to get the ATV, you need to get 30 gas cylinders and plus a bunch of other things. And you cannot get more than one gas cylinder per Bunker Bravo clearing, so you need to clear it 30 times. Same thing kind of there. I get it, it is a bit annoying. But, again, as I said, this game is all about grinding. Without grinding, it doesn't really have anything going for it. Like, it doesn't have a story, it doesn't have... I don't know what, it's all about grinding. That's what this game is all about. Uh, we've gotten a katana. I don't know which has to open up. Maybe I should have done better research. Well, let's do some more research, ladies and gents. I just want to know which chest to open up, like, for sure. Alright, is it this chest? Alright, it looks like it is this chest here. Let's go, ladies and gents, we've gotten guns! That's what we are all about. Let's go, let's drop that stuff in the chopper. We're gonna leave the Winchester and the zip gun for the... Uh, at this base. Alright, let's try to open up more chests. We'll try to open them all. There we go, we're at 100 noise. Oh my god, sorry, I can electronic circuit. How on earth is the guy here already? We need to open up three of those extra chests. 
And I will open them up. Let's go outside. Oh my goodness, almost get stuck. I don't have a sprinting skill. This is sad. That is really, really sad. Could have died on the spike traps to bring maybe more loot back to the base, but that's too late now. Psych, kill the blind one on spikes. Well, he's not gonna die as he will restore his health. Alright, we slowed him down. Nothing here besides one gasolinium. Something there and a few first aid kits. Heal up, heal up, and that one gasolinium. Risking my life for one drop of fuel. That's how desperate we are here. So that's epic. This base gets Ike's approval. Probably a 6 out of 10. How would you uh, rate this base, guys? What would you give it? Go inside a dog cage. It doesn't work. This thing has been patched like probably for over a year. Maybe even longer than that. So to go back to the base, guys, we could spend 9 energy or we could go to the settlement for 5 energy. And then from the settlement, we can go for free back to our base. So, ladies and gents, we've just saved 4 energy energy and if that's not awesome i don't know what is awesome so these are the amount of guns that we've gotten some leather some first aid kits plus we have some guns back in the chopper so that's gonna be in total four guns right plus eight guns there so that's 12 guns that's what we've gotten 12 guns 12 full durability weapons it's six and a half out of ten six seven out of ten say a six and a half out of ten what is the big ones damage multiply by hit it doesn't really multiply it just he just does uh, two more damage every hit. He starts like with 20, then 22, 24, 26, or he starts with 21. I don't know, but you got the point. Maybe he starts with 30. 4.76, 6.92. Out of 10, guys, your ratings are very hilarious. Very amazing. But yeah, that base is quite decent. I liked it. I did like it. Um, thinking, thinking, we're stinking, so we gotta get the... So we gotta go and uh, take a shower. Is this update out? This update's been out for... Three days? So yes, it is out. This update is out. It can update the game. And you can enjoy the settlement. But Sayang, there's nothing to do at the settlement yet. Yes, there's not much to do, but you can start preparing for it anyways. As I said, you need to uh, repair those buildings now. So you can just start kind of repairing them until the developers add more things uh, to that settlement. So it doesn't really matter. As we need to assemble the headquarters, the other things, the minivans, so all of those things will take us a while to assemble. Maybe later on they'll be easier, more accessible. As I said, maybe they'll re remove the timer. Like, they'll reduce the timer of the factory. Instead of two days, it'll be only one day. Maybe. Dev said they'll be lowering the cost for free to play since Jakatana. I've never heard of that. I don't know where you've gotten the information from. Maybe they posted something on Discord, but every time they post something on Discord, you guys always let me know that, hey, developers posted something on Discord, and I always jump there to check if that's true or not, but it doesn't really look like it. It doesn't really look like that. All right, let's... Let's, let's, let's get this. And let's pay the raiders. We gotta pay them. How to get flare guns? You get flare guns from the fourth floor with the true friend Doggo? Guys, where else do you get flare guns? He's been slacking on the shower song. 
My throat hurts. So I can't really sing. All right, let's call them once again. At the farm. All right, so you can get the flare guns at the farm as well. Flare guns at the PD. Yes, at the police department, farm, and delivery, says ABCD. All right, cool. Understandable. Have a nice day. At the floppy crate as well. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We can kill the bulls, but can we do it? Is it possible? Is there a reset? Check this out! Find and kill Colonel at the factory! Let's go! Let's check it out, ladies and gents. Let's go to the factory. Has anybody found Colonel at the factory? As I said, I've heard rumors that Colonel is gonna spawn there for sure. Like, there'll be a guaranteed spawn of that Colonel. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys! I have gotten another comment. One of the... Okay, maybe it's not a stupid comment to read, but I very, I disagree with that comment. And if I disagree with something, I'll say that it's very stupid. So guys, I'll read it. What if you put the things in the chest in alphabetic order so you know what to pick? Auto label on the chest is good, but I'd suggest you try alphabetic. Too much work though. <laughs> what can I answer to this? As, uh, sort your chest in... Alphabetic and chronological order, Cyric. So what, every time I'll need guns, I'll be like A, B, C, D, E, L, S, B. Searching for guns? How do I sort that in alphabetical order? Where does A end? Where does B start? And uh, bolts, nuts, how do I put them? It's, it's just... I don't know. Guys, my chest are sorted out. Like, I know where things are in chests. It just takes time to put them back. Because sometimes I'll have lots of things in the inventory. I'll have, like, let's say, bolts, nuts, and I'll have, like, something else there. And I won't see that all of those things fit in one chest. So that's why sometimes I have to turn back to the same chest. Like, for example, water. I've opened it up. I didn't think that hey, I, can, I need to drop water, and I need to drop gasoline there. But just because water will be in the W category doesn't mean that it'll be easier for me to find that water. But, all right. Uh, let's go and let's find the colonel now. Do we need a melee weapon? Whatever, let's take one katana and let's go. If you skipped any raider tasks, check gold rush event for loot. That's where this came from. Now I get it because I came here and we have... We progressed all the way here in the gold rush event and I'm like, I didn't do anything. But apparently it's because we've skipped the tasks. Okay. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Sword by color, says Matthew Spellman. How will we sort it by color? How? All right, we got the guns, we got everything, and food, we don't need that. Let's go. So yeah, to those that have just joined, we are going to the abandoned factory because... That's what raiders want me to do. We need to kill the colonel. Where's the colonel, ladies and gents? The dude should be here. There you go. There's the colonel. So it is possible to find them, guys. You find them... Okay, he's gonna see you even if you're in grass. Right, there are more zombies. Should not have gathered them. But hey, guys. Probably it's guaranteed. So they've made this colonel hunting task easier for everybody. Because before it was really hard to find that colonel in the red location. Now it's gonna be here in the factory. So hey... 
We've gotten an easy task, right? They made it easier. There we go. We've dealt with the colonel. So they made this task easier. That's very epic. So most of the time they make things harder. They ruin the events. They premiumize stuff. They add premiums everywhere. But, but ladies and gentlemen, they have uh, made this task easier. You get the colonel in the factory now for sure. So pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. They made it easier by accident, says Squazim. Hmm. Well, in any case, even if it's by accident or by whatever, they made it easier. Now we can kill the guy easier, which is pretty, pretty epic in my humble opinion. Plus, we can make three deals with the dealer. But hey, I just wanted to check that stuff out and we did it. So now time for us to do some speed cubing as it's been... A hot minute. I think last time we've done some speed cubing. Speed cube timer. So yeah, guys, our personal best was 36 seconds. Can we get the whatever it's called? The 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 the, the, the 36 seconds again? Or sub 40 seconds? I have no idea. Alright, guys, there we go. There we go. The people are baiting me. <sighs> oh my god, psych, what are we talking about? Wait, not here. Let's go back here and let's go here, ladies and gents. So, there was something. Uh, look at this. Dominic Z says, Why do you read silly comments? But not my questions. So, Dominic Z, what is your question then? Dominic. Alright, you have five questions then. Let's go. Your question is, what level do you need to get Kevlar armor at gas? Yes, I found him two times. Uh, what level do you need to get Kevlar armor at the gas station? And 2 out of 10. Alright, so you were participating in the chat. Answering questions. And your question was, what level you can get Kevlar armor at the gas station? I don't think level matters in the gas station. You just get the Kevlar armor and that's it. Kevlar armor is... The point is, there are so many things wrong with that question. First of all, I can't really answer it easily. I'm not... Psych is not triggered. Cyric is not triggered. It's just that... The question is weird, and most of the time I'm not going to answer a weird qu weird question that I'll either don't know answer to or it just makes no sense. Like, for example, getting a Kevlar armor in the gas station. It does nothing. It's... You can get it at whatever level. The level doesn't matter. And... Uh, what's more surprising is that why does it even matter? Why do you care about that Kevlar armor? Kevlar armor is useless. I don't understand why people obsess about that Kevlar armor or, this, or the SWAT armor. Like, oh my god, sorry, Kevlar armor. It's like the same thing as the tactical armor. They're like no different. They're all the same thing. Level matters, says Dominic Z. So why do you ask me? If you know that the level matters. Guys, does it matter? Does the level matter at the gas station to get your Kevlar armor? What I can say for sure probably is that if you don't have your ATV, you'll probably have different rewards at the gas station. And you might not see maybe Kevlar armor there, but I... Kevlar does not... the the But I don't think it, that's the case. I don't think level matters. Like, it's not like you'll be level 200 and you'll unlock the Kevlar armor. Size and level does not matter, says Pranjal. So there is that, ladies and gentlemen. There is that. No, it doesn't. That is nonsense. So, Danielismo, or what was the name? Sorry, I forgot it. Uh, uh, Dominic. So, you see, it doesn't matter. Level doesn't matter. Dominic. Where is Dominic in the chat? Dominic. I want to see Dominic. The Dominic understands that level doesn't matter. <laughs> I answered. Did I answer your... Did we answer your question, Dominic? Why Kevlar armor is stupid, says Taco Man. You probably guys don't see it, but yeah, the Taco Man is asking why Kevlar armor is stupid. Because it's Kevlar armor. Who cares about it? See, so yeah, I'm waiting for Dominic to say something and then we'll go to speed cubing. But I don't see Dominic.
because it is rare. Yeah, the Kevlar armor is rare. That's the point. That's why it's good because it's rare. The Kevlar armor is rare and it's like, it's... It's not gonna do you any good. You can just use your tactical armor and it's gonna be the same thing. And I don't see Dominic. Dominic is gone. Dom says everything for family matters. Well, that's it. Dominic is gone. Rip Dominic. Well, let's see, guys. We'll go to the speed cubing then. Any other questions that need to be answered, please let me know. <laughs> and I'll check them out. All right, that's it. Let's go for it. Let's go. When do you think you'll finish your settlement? I have no idea. In a few weeks, probably, maybe. Maybe even longer than that. It'll take a while to assemble the settlement because I'm going to assume that after the headquarters, we'll unlock some new locations. And after that, you banned him. Guys, you were seeing the chat. How I could have banned him when you saw the chat. You saw my screen. How I could have banned him when you saw the chat yourself. What was there to ban for? The guy was just asking a normal question. I have... Maybe he had a reason for it to ask about that... That level. So yeah, and Matthew Spellman, very epic comment. Should I leave my 52 level at which and have a TV transistor, but there is no bot. <laughs> and we can't call Raider on radio. <laughs> very epic comment. Say, guys. Dominic. No, I'm not banned, says Dominic. Guys, Dominic is here. I'm telling you, we did not ban Dominic. Why would I ban Dominic? Dominic didn't do anything wrong. It's just the Dominic. Where is Dominic? Dominic. <laughs> Band deported exiled. <laughs> no, Dominic is still here. I saw him. Guys, Dominic is here. Dominic. There we go. Dominic, I'm not banned. The guy says that he's not banned, guys. The guy, the, 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 the dude is here. Everything is fine. You can get jackpot all the time. Dominic says you can get jackpot all the time and then level matters. I, I don't understand what Dominic you're trying to say here. So that's the reason why I probably didn't answer the question because there is no answer to the question. Hopefully your question is answered. <laughs> Dominic banned. Dominic is here. Dominic won't be banned. Why would he? We're doing the Rubik's Cube, ladies and gentlemen. But Cyric. I don't care about the Rubik's Cube, Cyric. Yes, you care about the Rubik's Cube. Uh, all right, let's do it. This, this. So yeah, the personal best was 36 seconds. The goal... It would be nice to get another sub 40. I don't think we'll get another sub 40, but getting at least sub 50 would be fine. Stop roasting your audience, says Jamal. How is this roasting? I'm just communicating with you guys. I'm just talking with you. I got a question. I answered that question because I thought it was a quite fun question. That's it. There was nothing. Wait, why do we have this timer that way? This is stupid. That's where... That's how it's supposed to be. There we go. That's much better. That's it. Let's go, peeps. So again, this is going to be our warm-up solve. We go there, 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 and this, there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to mess things up, but we are doing it anyways. This, 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 and uh, there was the red one. There we go. We did it. A little bit lucky here. Seconds, the personal best. The other one was 36. This one is 30. 
five seconds. Point six. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. And it wasn't really lots of skips there. I did get lucky here and there, but 35 seconds. 35 seconds. Smash like, smash subscribe. And that is epic. I did not expect to beat the 30 second point, 36.9 best. There was no way. There was no way we could have done that. Bro, we destroyed the cube. Yes, indeed. We absolutely destroyed it. And it's like, it's... I kind of don't even want to try to solve it for the second time because there's no way we will get better than 35. Like, it's... It's illegal. Like, there's no way I'll get lower than this. Like, I don't see... Like, I don't see how I would have done this cube any faster. Like, it's... It was as fast as I can do it. Try again. Like, they, they won't get 30, we won't get faster than 35. Like, I can try to get another sub 40, but it's again gonna be very hard. Getting sub 50 is fast for me. Getting sub 40 it's, is luck. Alright, let's do one more time and then we'll probably go, ladies and gents. And then we'll probably go, just to get sub 50. That's it, that's what I'm trying to do here. To get the sub 50. There you go, we did it. Let's do some random spins. Learn more FTL tips and tricks. Yes. We need to learn more, but again, it's not even about learning. It's also about practicing and doing whatever things, but the only time I practice is here on the live stream. So. Yeah, that's gonna be around our limit, like. This is like my personal best probably for the next year. I don't think I'm ever beating it anytime soon. But hey, I'm happy with it. Now let's do guys uh, some more inspection. And let's do one more solve and then let's get that all. Alright. Plus I could even solve the cross a bit faster, but the... Just the beginning takes lots of time for me to do. Okay, this, 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 uh, this. This and this, okay. Oh my goodness. Made mistakes, so many mistakes here. Could have been way faster. Way faster, could have been way faster. Do, do, do. Got him, ladies and gentlemen, 47 seconds. Could have been a bit faster, could have gotten around 42 maybe seconds, 40 seconds. Did mess up here and there a bit, but you know what? Another sub 50, in my opinion, is quite decent. He has concentrate because he already vented his frustration before. There was no frustration! Guys, when was I frustrated? When was I frustrated? All right, so we will be wrapping it up. And Kantara, thanks for the super chat side. Congrats on the new best on Rubik's Cube. Thanks, Kantara. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the congrats. And yeah, that best, the 35.67 uh, solve is not going to be beaten by me anytime soon. So yeah, guys, thanks for being here. Have an amazing Sunday. If you got timed out, probably sent some messages in multiple times. Why did they get timed out? Yeah, because you were talking about glitches. If you talk about glitches, game abuse, and whatever other stuff, you might get timed out in the chat.
So, yeah. Or for spam. So, yeah, take care, everybody. See you later. Have an amazing Sunday. And uh, see you later, guys. See you tomorrow with Raft video. And then there will be Miss Survival. And then there will be more Alliance to Earth live streams and more Raft and more Miss Survival. So, yeah, take care, everybody. And see you later. See you later, guys. Take care. Take care, take care. See you later, everybody.